What's up everybody? So you want to start that off, get your impact wrench, undo your uh, wiring harness up there, your little clip, and take your deck belt off. And um, on some mowers, it will just fall off. Uh, but this one, that top part was stuck up there. And I was tapping with a hammer, uh, you know, even tried it with it running, did all kind of things. Um, even in here, you know, I even tapped up inside there, not in the threads, but beside the threads, try to get that little notch to loosen up, but it was just stuck and it, the, the clutch started coming apart. So I ended, ended up just yanking that part of the clutch off and I just could not get it. I tried all kinds of different taps and tricks and pry, pry it on the top and everything. And so I went on eBay, ordered a, uh, puller set. You can find them on there, like 30 bucks. This one is kind of, was all, not all like some of the bolts were all falling out and everything else so i had to kind of reassemble some of the pullers but um yeah there you go it came with four different ones um we're getting ready to head to the sarasota florida into this week so if y'all are down there let me know but anyway i got this uh you know took me a while to get it configured on there never used one before um i put a washer up in there with the puller so i wasn't sticking the puller into the threads you know too bad and messing up the threads um and uh, so I stuck, you know, used a small washer and put it up in there, and that did the trick. I had to work with it a little bit because I never used one before, but it's totally worth it to get that, pay that 30 bucks. And now I always have that for pulling clutches. And um, I'm trying to show you guys. See, there, it, it developed like a ditch up there, I think, on the shaft. I don't think it's supposed to have a ditch like that. And I think that bearing is like get stuck in that ditch for some reason. Um, you know, maybe just mower has a lot of hours on it. I mean, it has like 700 and something blade hours so total hours probably closer to 1000 but it's not the first clutch second clutch um and the dealer installed both of them it's all melted and stuff as you can see i wonder if the dealer put it on too tight so i'm gonna do better job when i put it on 